Geeks. Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at IOBit Uninstaller, the 6 Series. I've had this on my machine for years, and I'm actually doing this video on my personal machine because I trust it. Anytime you add or remove a program, it leaves hundreds, dozens, thousands of files, folders, and registry entries. And then you wonder over time why your machine slows down. That's a very, very good reason why. You're getting a registry, it's oversized, you're getting files and folders all over the place that have to be defragged and just sit there and do nothing but take up space and so on and so forth so i recommend you use a program like this instead of add remove programs i have for years and i've found that over time things are much much faster so you run the program it just sets itself right up for you like a portable app and it's ready to roll you can simply look right here at programs find what you want and you can actually check numerous which they call a batch uninstall that would allow you to uninstall a dozen programs at a time now it's a little bit slower than add remove programs because it does the extra scanning for you you can break it down by size date by simply clicking if it helps you find whatever you're looking for and by name you can look for large programs you can also go to your windows update this is handy for people who are having issues for example with a windows 10 upgrade and people say delete this um KBE file. Here they are here, so you can get to that. You have your toolbars and your plugins, which can be also obviously very handy if you have stuff in your browser that you don't want. Maybe you even forgot or don't even know it's there because you haven't paid attention for a while. And it works exactly the same. You can just click the trash can or click on numerous ones and remove them that way. So it has all your popular browsers in here. It have your Windows apps. It comes with Windows. Another handy little thing there your action center which now with all this actually is is going to take you mostly to the advanced system care or in this case their product uh, driver booster so it's actually more of a I guess almost inline advertisement for the programs but um, you, you never know if you need one of those you can grab them so that's about it uh, we'll grab a quick removal after I show you some of your settings the force uninstall kind of handy a file shredder built in in the history of what you've done you can come in here into your settings and there's not too much in here to do you can do the automatic updates by purchasing the program if you like it skip notifications uh, language font size colors good if you're colorblind or just having trouble seeing it because they're, they're usually most of the iobit stuff is black with white text so all right let's get this over with i don't want to waste too much of your time just want to show you how she works let's take pzip we'll click on install once it confirms you can create a restore point if you want, which obviously takes longer. Click the uninstall button, and as you can see, for the most part, it'll pop up the actual pzip uninstall thing. So in other words, iobit uninstaller is an interface to all this, just an improvement on it. So now we'll wait, it's done. You can close it at this point, or you never want to, you want to do the powerful scan. Once the powerful scan is finished, it will show you any files, folders, registry entries that were left behind, as you can see. In this case, pzip is actually pretty clean. You're looking at two registry items and four files at 13 kilobytes. So that's pretty small. And all you have to do here is hit delete, and they'll be gone. Optionally, you can shred the files. This is handy in the case of something you want to completely remove and, and get out of sight. So I will hit the delete. It says OK. And that is how fast it is to remove a program with iobit uninstaller so give it a shot it's totally free there's no spyware or pups involved in it at this point it's uh, usually 20 30 dollars you want to get the pro version which is pretty reasonable uh, if not for anything else to show their support if you like it i'm convinced you're going to love it i've been using it for years so head on over to major geeks grab it let us know what you think thanks for watching we'll see you next time